the extra right to see. Uh, I think it's better. Yeah. So I would package them all together. Therefore, it's a more refined bike. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I can't argue with that. The middleweight adventure bike segment is one of the most contested parts of the new bike market. In this two-part series, we put the latest offerings from Japan head-to-head -head against the beautiful English Lake District backdrop. This is Honda versus Suzuki in an epic two-day adventure. Patience will be tested, bikes will be dropped, laughs will be had, and most importantly, memories will be made as we carve out mountain pass, trails, beaches and sodden campsites all in the quest to figure out which one comes out on top. Hi there and welcome to Knox and welcome to the beautiful British summertime. In this video we've got two bikes with us and these are the latest entrants to the middleweight adventure bike market. We've got the Honda Transalp and the Suzuki V-Strom 800 DE. Now obviously I can't do this test on my own so I've brought in a very special guest that's Mr Chris Moss. He's kind of our international adventure correspondent. What you mean I've been to Benidorm once? This is your fault, this test. Mossy, tell us a bit about these two bikes. Let me just say, this is the test that I've been looking forward to most of all. Once upon a time, not that long ago, it would have been a super bike or sporty bike. Um, I'm now very keen to learn what they're like in our own home environment. So like adventure bikes compare with each other directly. Uh, I really, I've got an idea of what I think. But the proof of the pudding, of course, is to come to the Wet Lake District. <laughs> Luckily, we've got some of your kit on here, so yeah, yeah. I feel bone dry. It's but already been uh, tested within half an hour, hasn't it? It has indeed, yeah. But yeah, I'll be uh, super interested. I mean, we're going to take them off-road a bit, aren't we? Nothing yeah, yeah. too Red Bull Romaniacs like, but, well, I hope. <laughs> well, we'll have Hang on, to... have, you, have you got surprises in store for me that I know <laughs> nothing about? Well, I've ridden it all on enduro bikes, so... Um... Yeah, yeah adventure late, bikes yeah. are somewhat different. May I remind you promptly? <laughs> it's going to be one of those tests, you see this, where, we, where we're sort of like figuring it out. As we go way, along, think, making yeah. it or as we go yeah, along, yeah. I think. But we've got our luggage, we've got our tents, we've got all the, the stuff that we need to. We're going to have an adventure, Mossy, aren't we? Uh, yeah. Let's do of it. Of what type remains to be seen? First point of call was a warm-up ride from Knox HQ over a normally very picturesque Austwaite brow. Grandad swung a leg over the V-Strom while I got acquainted with the Transalp. I've got to know and like it a great deal. There's a couple of things that annoy the hell out of me, but all in all, it's been a good choice. I think the engine is the most impressive bit. I think it's a 776cc parallel twin. It's got tons of torque, it only makes 82 horsepower. Super clean, glitch free grunt. You can just always rely on some good, strong throttle response. motorcycle from Honda, new engine platform, uh, it's a 750 uh, parallel twin, 
but with some extra character because it's got that really famous 270 degree uh, crank firing order. Essentially what it does is take what would generally be considered as a sort of boring engine platform in a parallel twin and giving it a bit of the old spice, you know, giving it a bit of character. Just like the Suzuki, this engine platform is shared with a naked model as well. So this is the same one that's in the Honda Hornet, albeit with some different tuning. Very torquey, very smooth, and it's beautifully fueled, I have to say. So, so far, so good. Believe it or not, this is the British summertime, and uh, it's not too clever, is it? Next up was a ride through Ascombe Beach, a really unique legal trail which would serve as the perfect place to get some insights into how effective each of the bike's electronics are and how they manage the loose terrain. It's a bit of a crappy day, isn't it? Oh, honestly, how bad is it? Yeah, it's as bad as it gets, I guess. Absolute shocker. Is this where the adventure begins? Puddles, he said. Oi! Yeah. <laughs> and we made it. Right. I'm hoping to get some more grip here. Bloody hell, move it. I think he's after the sand that makes it easier to do that sort of thing. quickly figured out that the off-road electronics on the Honda are about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. With the worst traction control interference I've ever experienced and an off-road ABS mode that doesn't allow you to lock the rear wheel. Uh, so we're on the gravel mode and it just it just sort of dies as soon as you can you hear that almost like misfires And then obviously you get back onto user and I've got no traction now and I can uh, do what I want. Meanwhile, Mossy got successfully stuck in on the Suzuki within the parameters of electronic protection and seemed to be enjoying himself. Oh, plenty of lessons to be learned about off-roading on this stuff, I reckon. Right, I'm going wherever he goes, so it's all his fault. That's what you call rider error. Well, look, this has been our first. Uh, right. Describe on. it. Go on. Use a word to describe what it's been the first of. A challenger. First what? If you use that word adventure, I'm going to biff you. <laughs> well, this is not the tank, surely. Okay, so I don't know whether you guys can see, but literally You don't know rain, whether they didn't see? <laughs> rain is coming absolutely diagonally. This is not San Tropez. <laughs> so our first day of adventuring has been quite adventurous, hasn't it, Mossy? I have nothing to say. How, how it's been good, it's been good. How would you describe the weather? Um, northern. <laughs> Listen, I was born just down the road from here, so I know what, well, I did know what to expect, and I got exactly what I expected. Yeah, and um, do you know what, though? We've had a good time, haven't we? We've put the bike oh, through have. some different types of terrain. We've had uh, some mountain passes. We've had some faster flowing stuff, and obviously we've come to the beach. You know, you've already binned it. 
<laughs> I, look, I was under full control of that motorcycle without the corner of my eye. I saw Pamela Anderson. And just uh, for a second, I lost concentration and down I went. Right, so first thoughts on the bikes, because that, that's what we're here to talk about. Yeah, um, I forgot that for Obviously, a second, I've yeah. been on the, uh, the Transalp all day and I'm not sure there's a best it, bit about it. it. I the think package? it's more of an overall package, yeah, to be yeah. honest, that just works pretty well. Yeah. It's better than I thought it was going to be. It's a Honda, there's isn't no, it? There's nothing like stand out about it, I think. Yeah. That, you know, but I think for a middleweight adventure bike, I'm not sure that's what people are looking for. They're not looking for the ultimate power. They're yeah. not looking for the ultimate in, in anything really, or tech or this is, or that. They're just looking for the thing to work. And I, I, my impression is that this does quite a good job of it. The engine's really nice, handles well. Um, it's no done bad the, points. No it's bad done, points? Yeah, it's done the beach work pretty well. Some of the electronics are a little bit um, uh, restrictive. I mean, we're, we're, it is quite interesting. We've come to the beach and gravel mode basically doesn't work at all because the thing just dies. You know, but hey, apart from that, I think it's absolutely mint. It's Good. done this stuff really well. Ask you about the Suzuki. Uh, well, I'm very familiar with it. I mean, I could go on for ages. I mean, look, let me say this. It's done everything I've asked of it, no problem. Have you got heated grips on your bike? No, not yet. Ah, well, it, I'm waiting for a lot of things from Suzuki, like some luggage, come on! They both could do with, with the heated grips. Yeah. How's it, how's it managed the beach? Well, up to well. a point, it was all right, yeah. Yeah. Listen, it's quite an agreeable, predictable motor. I, it's just a big, fat, heavy thing for chucking down the road on day one. Uh, it could be really nice weather, and then like we'd have a different <laughs> adventure. But It'd be we, boring, but wouldn't we it? Are, but we aren't, so we just yeah. got to go with it, and that's okay. kind of part of what these bikes do, isn't it? Yeah. And oh, they, man, they that, enable you, you that. Can, you can ask them to do lots of things, can't you? And yeah. They won't complain. But, you know, at the end of the day, the, hey, tell you what, they, it's a good test for a Nox gear, man, in here, because, you know, I'm dry as a bone. Yeah, it's just my brain that's flooded. <laughs> that wet, wet brain. One thing that Mossy's little topple off revealed was that the Suzuki in particular is unbelievably heavy to pick up. And my original plan of wild camping at the top of a challenging trail was slipping out of reality. The sheer weight of the V-Strom, the slippery conditions and rapidly depleting enthusiasm meant that a few calls later, I'd secured a pitch at a local campsite with a nearby pub and this would prove to be a much more inviting prospect for us. Join us on part two as our adventuring continues through winding A roads, mountain passes, streams and trails as we begin to draw some conclusions on our V-Strom versus Transalp test.